I don't know if Mir's in this one. He's in one of them. I don't know which one it is. Maybe it's eight. I remember going around looking for cool shit and finding the uh, this in Barons. I was like, oh yeah, that's cool. Let's fucking record it. And then the iconic tree fucking punch. No flame. Just banter. If I get a fear here, like, where's the tremor? What am I doing? Okay, we kill the tremor. Fear on cool. Oh, okay, fear's on cool then. Standard. By the way, this is back when you had to pray, right? You couldn't see the trick, the, the tick timing on the tremor, right? The tick timing on tremor was uh, in TBC. I literally PM'd the author of Gladian. I was like, can you do a cast bar on Tremor? Because it always ticks instantly when you put it and then every three seconds. So you can technically put a cast bar on it and leave it forever when you spawn it, right, on the nameplate. And he did it. And it literally changes the way that you can fucking fear as a priest into shaman. Because you don't have to gamble anymore, right? You can see the tick and fear right after and then you have like two and a half seconds to kill the Tremor. This is with Gladi. You can't see it by default. So this was some fucking genius idea. So, we, but you had to gamble here. So I gambled and got the, the tremor. So it's okay, I think. Yeah, so we get it, right? I think. The fear breaks, weirdly. I don't know if it just ends. It might have failed. Anyway, we've got a good go on the sham. Into the cheap shot. He trinkets the cheap shot in NS. I don't know where the CS goes, but if he gets MCSs here, he fucking dies. Get the fear off Cali, that's nice. He sends the cloak, I believe. And we're still going. This is greedy. This is really greedy. Because he has no cloak now. But we're just all in him down. I guess as Mutey, this is what you do, right? And then this is me, me memeing our necks a little bit. Okay, this is ESL Realm Gear. Which is generally a little bit lower damage. It's earlier season, right? Pet lives on like 1 HP. Then we kill it. That's okay. I think we're wargaming him, we're wargaming them, right, in this clip. Um, and so I was custom glyphing, so I run the shackle glyph, and uh, I catch him out with it. I think, I think that's what happens in this clip. We get the fear on the druid. He trinkets? Did he trinket or dispel? Yeah, he trinkets it. So this was a bit sketch because I don't know if there's any debuffs on the druid. Let's see if he gets bolted at all. I definitely don't pain him. Positioning isn't great. The warlock. If I mean, just put it this way: if this warlock is uh, is Chan now, I'm already feared, and we're in deep shit. So my positioning there was bad. He could have also probably devoured the druid because I didn't pre dot him or anything like that. There we go, Druid. Druid, way too close to the fight in general. Strang and they're going on me, but I don't have dots, so I should be fine. Kind of a panic all in slash pressure, I guess. Druid's in blind. I think this is a DR fear on him. I don't know if it's DR'd on here. Is he still feared? Oh, it's actually a slow shackle on him. He's just too too slow and doesn't click it off. Druid's in deep. And we managed to kill the lock. Scrappy game, but yeah. Yeah, indeed, Cold. There was a lot of Muty Rogue in Original Wrath. Sub wasn't a thing until later on. Chains plus UA. Yeah, it was pain, man. I mean, I'm dealing with it here now, right? Look at this. Fortunately, I still have the PS, but... What do I try and shackle? Oh, I tried to shackle... The... So I don't even try and shackle the Garg. Strain comes out on me. Get the fear on the Druid. 
This was a nice split of play there by me. I think we get the innovate here, maybe. There's a nice fear on here, but I don't have it up yet. He just he just innovates in our face, and I just dispel it. That's nice. I think I get a fear now, and we win. There's the fear. To be fair, like RMP now, shits all over this comp, right? With a sub rogue and and like the DK not being able to be dispelled. It's like you do one go, you get Druid Trinket, you do no, never go and kill Druid. Oh, this was a nice fear, actually. Druid just doing, you can't do anything. The RMP mirrors the OG. Did you cover the Druid on Fear? Nah, rarely, man. <coughs> it was most... If the Druid was covered, it was because of the Mage. I don't remember regularly painting Druids to stop the Devour. Half Warlocks didn't even Devour properly. Okay, we got the Cloak here. That was nice. Oh, Kali takes so much damage here, actually. Doesn't have wounds somehow, so the uh, him does work. Could have got CS there, maybe. I don't know. This is the thing. You don't know if he has it up. you got to be so careful. Oh, Priest gets a nice field off there. But we go on him instead. Fears us. Need to get Kali. Getting the Fiend over Kali. Get deep, double deep there from the Mage. That was nice. My Fiend is actually just getting fucked here. Wait, let me see. When does the Fiend get spawned? I spawn Fiend here and it just gets feared, man. I should have MD'd here. This is an MD angle, I think. Here. To try and get all the fears off. And the Fiend as well. Nice CS on the sheep on the D. That was nice by Flynn. And then my Fiend is just CC'd so much this game. That was the main problem here. I've used so much mana as a result. I don't know, man. I feel like I could have just died there as well. It's not looking good for me here. Get the double fear on the priest and rogue. That was good. We got the priest trinket as a result of that. I'm fully oom now, though. No fiend, no him. It's not looking good here. So I'm like desperate to drink. That's the thing, Super. We thought it was solved. Or at least to a decent degree. And you look back at it now and it's like... So wrong. I'm just trying to drink. I'll, I'll, I just leave Callie in this sheet. Because it means they're not killing him. Buys us some time. So that, I mean, that sheep was just not correct, I think. They should have just zerged into him. If they just zerged damage on him, he would have probably died. But managed to get the drink off. Cloaked, blinds the rogue. Goes on the rogue out of the blinds. was really nice. Going for a double fear here. I, I just, yeah, I don't think that double fear is that worth it. I could have probably got CC'd by the mage there. If he was on the ball. I want to try Fire Mage Ellie this season. Super. I think it might be good. Fire Mage Ellie Priest. Healing Proof wasn't even a glad level mage.
even in duels, like Flynn beat him in two series. He beat him three one and three two, and then Healing Proof took the took the wins from the two lost series and made a video and said he won. This is a good shield, reflective shield running. Get the PS off. Flynn still has CS, so this is a good PS, I think. Goes for the invis drink. I don't know if he got much there. I'm trying to like fake out his CS. Duel is pretty good so far. The um, I live on one percent there. Before I get the BM off, look at this. The the fireball actually breaks the uh, the grenade. Look at this. Here, and I get a BM trinket off. That was insanely close. To be fair, we did a lot of duels. And this was like the best one. Um, we, we just said like no pillars, basically. I remember in early MLG days, they said it wasn't cost. I mean, the thing is, like teams were not even paid a salary back then. Teams literally took 50% of your prize money. And the prize pool of Tawny's was dog shit. To be honest, it was the perfect end to this duel since, like, we both had good moments in the duel. By the way, you can see the dispel resistance is so much less bugged on here. Then, uh, I should have fiended way sooner, right? This was definitely a mistake by me. The, um, the reason I die, if you look at the Ellie. It gets the cast here. And it's like an invisible bolt that kills me. So sad. It's whoever dies first, I think, if he loses. No, there's no self-damage on death if you kill the player. Could have tried to death this, maybe. Not too sure about this fear, though. Like, I should be looking for the fear on the priest, really. If we fear the priest here, we actually have a really good potential to kill him. So, like, getting the priest and the rogue would have been way better than trying to get the mage. Should probably be standing more over here to try and make the mage come out. Otherwise, we don't know which poly is on us. Because so, you can just cast on everyone from there. Whereas if I'm here and I see a move, I know he's trying to cast it on me. Man, it's so hard to see the fear cooldown at the end there. Jesus. In the shadow, you know. You get the fear now. It's a bit overlap. Priest trinkets. Deep into sheep on me here. The CS was just a little late there by Flynn. That was on Forge. Kelly gets the vanish off. Clean somehow. That was a very clutch vanish. Get the shield off right before the fear. I don't know if they get him out. Yeah, they actually get him out. Or he opens. I'm not sure which. 
The mage has CS, I think, right now. Scary. I really should be looking to dispel that sheep off Flynn earlier as well. Right after the penance, probably. Get the fear on the priest, and we kill the rogue. But yeah, nice surviving there by Callie. Okay, right, we're opening the druid in this clip. Getting some dispels, they go on me. The DK's probably going to try and all in me here. Crazy to think the, the lock gets the UA off here and they somehow don't don't all in me down. Dispel the UA, that's a bit risky, but we're okay. DK jumps and strengths. I don't like my positioning here at all. I think I can just stay here and line the DK. Or at least go here. And I cancel, I think, the last tick. I don't know. It was like right as the strength came, comes in, so it's a bit scary. Get the reshield. Get the PS off, which is nice. A lot of damage on us here through the PS. The Devour actually fails on the sheet, fortunately. Otherwise, I think I was dead there. Gargle doing a bunch to me. Get the reshields. DK gets Nova. Nice peeling there by Flynn. Get grip back. No UA now, though. Lock was a bit sloppy, not re UAing there. I think he casts it on someone. Let's have a look. Like, I should have new UA now. He's in Nova, so I guess it's tricky for him to get it. Maybe you can get it on anyone else. To be honest, there weren't that many other good Shadow Cleaves. The reason that this team worked is because it was the best lock and the best DK. Off the kidney. And the fiend going ham. You love to see it. Is that other another? No, that guy was like, uh, I think inspired, or at least his name was inspired by this another. Another actually originally played mage in TBC. He used to play RMP with Zom, I know, really. They were the best RMP for a long time. Good dam on the lock pet into big fear. Lock pushes in unwisely. Gets blinded on his feld on. Into kick. This I don't know if this was a mid-air kick. I don't know how he manages to kick that. It literally looks like it goes off, but he manages to kick it right at the end. Nah, people didn't... I didn't even know Gargoyle was the main threat back in original Wrath of the Lich King. Like, no one respected Gargoyle. Log just leaves. Trying to line the lock here during the strang. Nice peels on the DK. See how I never shackle the gargoyle as well, by the way. This is, you can see, like, I'm just, I just don't care about it. Or I just underestimate it big time. I don't try and line it or anything. It's, uh, it's misplayed by me. Managed to fake the kick. That was pretty big. It's a fucking miracle that I actually managed to get back to the druid while we're going on him. While I've got a UA lock and a DK training me. Like, that should never happen. Make 
nice kill at the end. Yeah, I had Shackle on my bars. We shackled the DK a little bit earlier. And then we got the banter section. Oh, my boy Party Pingland. He was like my insider, dude. He was the one telling people, like, come check out this rabbit. What the fuck? And you can see him in, like, half the clips. He's just there in the background. <laughs> he was my buddy on Horde that was baiting people. This is me late. I think this is later on when I had, like, some add-on. I don't even know, like, I just randomly had the fucking uh, Righteous Orb thingies in my bags. And I was like, yeah, we can do that. It makes it more fucking hype. I think that's on the bear. That's Party Pinglin. The fact that they both went to look at it is abs like this was not planned in any way. This one's the best because he's just running along. He's just like, oh yeah, I'm just going to kill this random rabbit on the path. <laughs> Why did the rabbit explode? It was some engineering item. <laughs> and I was like, fuck man, this does enough damage to kill Lovies, man. You can probably still do it. <laughs> this guy was so shook at dying one time, man. Fucking repo, man. Holy shit, man. Paid actors, honest to God, like not a single one of them was scripted. I was there for about two hours, to be fair. Just getting good clips. This is all the lads back in the day, man. Hydrate review two, next time, next time, not tonight. I'm actually talking to my brother here. My brother was summoning people. <laughs> I don't remember where that was. I think that might have been on a PTR or something. I don't know why they couldn't just half out, but... Dude, I was, I was, like, looking back, the editing compared to now is just monkers. Credits weren't even long, man. There's more boy Cali. Oh my oh my god. <laughs> my voice is so cringe, man.
Oh, my boy Cali. I miss him, man. He doesn't play anymore. This guy now, Bleak F, actually plays in Apes. He's called um, Naru. If anyone knows him. He still plays. Oh my god, dude, my voice. What's up, Khalid? The freak here, yeah, man. <laughs> Dude, I don't know how we came up with this shit. And Nick's in real life. I don't even know if we wiped. <laughs> God damn. God damn. What's next? Oh, this is the... the uh, Wait, what the f... There's time left on this. Like two minutes. I really wanted to get this in the video because this was like... Such a unique... Matchup. That wasn't really relevant in any other aspect of the game. We got the Solace here, man. This is next season. This is season seven. Grime. Nah, come on, man. You're killing me out here. I should have got the spell in here. Here, I can just get the, the corruption off. Could have been good. And the haunt, maybe. He was dispelling pains off himself, right? So saving mana, not doing it. And wanding for damage a lot. I don't know if that's good. Embarrassing for Genghis to lose. I feel like I beat every lock at this time, except Inflame. Inflame was the only warlock beating me. And it was super close against him, but he would he would usually beat me. Genghis was like 50-50. Ooh, that was a nice fake. Naughty. Fear is fear. That was good. Get the trinket. I should be using renew more. Not using renew. Random PS. Dots aren't even like that long on. So I don't know about this PS. Dispel on the fiend though is poggers. No, no add-ons man. No add-ons back then. I let myself get so low because I'm like so convinced that I'm going to fake his CS like on demand. Get him really low here. Fake the Shadow Ward. That was nice. With the blast. That was really nice. Was Mana Drain banned? So, my whole game plan was, like, do enough damage that if he mana drains, he dies. So, he has to use life drain to survive. That was my strat. We shielded the... Oh, yeah, shielding the haunt was really important. Because the haunt would heal him a fuck ton otherwise. Yep, still not repaired. 15 years later, nothing changed. Ooh, blinks the fear. That was nice. Didn't use it, but we can pressure now. Devours the pain, so we repain to get a few ticks of damage. And get the new cough. Yeah. How did you know that was best for your priest armor wise, like weapons? What do you mean? Like what the best gear was? We didn't. Like I'm pretty sure the gear I use now is a lot different to what I was using back then. Yeah, because no guides. Yeah, what? Because I hadn't written them yet. <laughs> I missed on that. was selling vacuums at one point. Fucking hell, man.